<laughs> hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. This is something we make called sour salsa. It's a secret recipe. But you can't guess it. What's in the secret <laughs> recipe, Kenya? <laughs> Salsa and sour cream. Oh, don't tell them. Salsa and sour cream. We listed our house last night and we had our first person, our first family come to look at it. Are they going to buy our house, Milo? Um, yes. Do you guys want them to buy our house? No. No? no? Yes. Why? Oh, nice our house. They were so nice. Somebody's got to buy it. And they're going to have a nice little family and enjoy it. But then, I can't have my pumpkin anymore. We just anymore. got our walls done. <laughs> you can have your pumpkin, buddy. We just got our walls done. Yeah, so um, less than 24 hours, and somebody was coming to take a look at it. And uh, it's um, exciting, I guess. No. <laughs> Show me. Mama, it was a prank. Addison, she... Hey, we're packing up for today's adventure. We're gonna go to um, a really cool place called Stewart Falls. Actually, um, Stewart Falls is where I proposed to Katie. So it's right near our house. We go there about twice a year, um, but it's a gorgeous place. Anyway, so we're getting packed up and I'm just gathering some of my essentials. One thing I always have to consider when we're going on an adventure is what what am I gonna capture it with? What are we gonna what are we gonna do today? And today I'm just really into keeping it simple. Today I'm gonna bring the essentials. And that is my phone. And this is definitely part of my essential package. It is a drone. So anyway, that's always a big decision in my mind. Yeah, I'll take it out. I'll I'll because they Help take the, keep the moisture out so that our camelbacks don't get yucky. Keep napkins in them? Sure do, scientific, scientific situation that I do. There's a lot of camelbacks. I got a lot of hungry camels. That one's yours? Yeah. You gonna put it in your backpack? Yeah. Where's your backpack? Um, I check it. Sweet. Where are we going, guys? To Stewart Falls, I think. Who knows what's special about Stewart Falls? I do. What's special about Stewart Falls? <laughs> Feel so good to be with you. Hey, we're just parking at Stewart Falls. Okay, it's like chillier than I anticipated. You chilly? Yeah. It's kind of cold, huh? And you, what's the number one key to having a successful hike? Um, keep going. Keep going? What about what about putting your water thing in the dirt? I think that's the number one key. <laughs> you always you always want to put your mouthpiece of your camelback in the dirt first thing. Addison, what's the what's the number one key to a successful hike? Um Making sure you have plenty of toilet paper in your backpack? Not need sure. <laughs> <laughs> or just use the spiky leaves? Yeah, I use the spiky leaves. 
<laughs> find the spikiest, yeah, find the spikiest leaf you can, and that's what you wipe with. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I enjoy the go a lot more outside, especially when finished by spiky leaf. <laughs> the go. The go. I, I think I think the key to a harmonious family hike is everybody having their own camelback. Oh yeah. But we can share. And they don't. Me and you. Yeah. And they don't bother us for water. Oh dear. What are you doing? My feet hurt. That's the key to a successful hike right there. Wearing ugly tevas. Just kidding. <laughs> I love my tevas. Well, is that ice? It's frozen. No, the permafrost was already coming. This is ice. <laughs> oh, it's slickery. Be careful. <laughs> Lots of people do love our dog. What do they always say about her? That she's super cute and nice. They're like, oh, what kind of dog is that? And then you say, Bernoofy Doodle. And they're like, whoa. All right, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> But she's awesome. And Charlie. Charlie. Are you a Bernoufi doodle? Yeah. I'm a hiking Bernoufi doodle. This, I mean, this time of year is so crazy because it's brown and dead, it's dying. All the leaves have fallen, but man, look at these trees. Yeah, you should be like that. All right, guys, you have never seen a trail jumper like this before. All right, Milo, show them your thing. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Two, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. He runs with the most lightest of feet. And when he jumps, it's textbook jumping. He jumps like an antelope or a kangaroo through the trail. And he has won many awards for his jumping, his trail jumping. Sometimes he gets tired, but then he keeps going. And he's the most expert trail jumper we've ever seen. He's competed in all 1,500 countries in the world for trail jumping. Now for this last jump, it's gonna be a big one. Where will it be? The biggest jump he's ever done. Here it comes. Where is it? Come on, we need to jump. Oh, here we go. He's finding his jump. This is incredible, folks. We've never seen anything, whoa! We've never seen anything like it before. Milo, what do you have to say for yourself? Thank you. And your jumping skills. Thank you? Yeah. Oh, that's what you say? Yeah. Okay. And that was a pretty incredible run. So here's the thing about our children that you should know is sometimes they do not, most of the time they don't want to go. When we're like, hey, let's go on a hike. Let's go do this adventure. They're like, we don't want to go. We want to sit and watch TV. And then when they get out here, what do you know? They love it. And they're excited and they're running and they're walking our dog. Yada, yada, yada. How's it going, guys? Very good. And yeah, so the key is we have to force them out of the house. We have to kick them in the tushies to get in the car. We're going. And they complain the whole way. And then we get out here and they're like, this is the best thing ever. Can we just stay out here for our lives? And eat leaves and play with rocks. And we're like, sure kids, can. Starting in June. <laughs> Starting in June. Or earlier. We're leaving it, we're leaving it open-ended. We, we could leave earlier.
Alright, you guys ready for the story? This is the spot the dad proposed to mom. And I brought her up and we went we went and played around the falls first, right? So. Yeah, so we went down there because I think there were a lot of people right here. And look how jagged these rocks are. Anyway, I think it was like right here. I think this is the exact spot. And I brought her up here and I knelt down on one knee. And do you know what I can remember the most? The thing I can remember the most is how bad, how sharp the rocks were. <laughs> and it was hurting my knee so bad. Yeah, but I stuck it out because I'm tough like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So this is the spot. Is that amazing? Stuck it out because I'm worth it. Because <laughs> she's worth it. That's right. So this is this is a special spot. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he is gone. That's so funny. That's his favorite thing to do on a hike. Yep. Pass out. It keeps me warm and gets me extra weight for exercise. Yep, and I make you carry it because I can't. Right. And you're, you're stronger than me. Right. And look better. Right. I agree. <laughs> He's just flopping all over the place. Like, <laughs> and his head. Oh. 